What's up guys? Welcome to lesson 1-6 scatter plots. Let's do it. So here it says the table shows the number of songs and the total number of minutes on different CDs. Make a scatter plot of the data. So here we go. Usually with scatter plots or graphs, usually we're going to have time on the x-axis and whatever else on the y-axis. So I'm going to do the same thing here. So we're going to sketch out a little graph. And now you notice something interesting. The songs and the minutes, they don't start at zero. So look, songs, the lowest we have here is at 11 and the largest we have is 20, okay? And here, so that's kind of like our range from 11 to 20. Our domain is going from all the way down to 59, all the way up to 78. So we're gonna, so we're not gonna start at zero because it doesn't make sense. So we do a little squiggly line like this. This indicates that we're jumping. And we do the same thing for the y-axis. I'm gonna try to draw this straight. Okay, now we have songs over here. And we have minutes down here. And we're gonna be at the very left of this guy for minutes, like we said, 59, like that. And all the way here on the right, we've got 78. Maybe we've got 69 in the middle, something like that. Here, our lowest value for songs is gonna be up here, 11. At the very top, we got 20. And in the middle, we've got, let's just say 15, even though it's not exactly in the middle. And now let's just plot out the points. So let's do it as many as we, let's try and do them all. So 64 and 15, we'll say 64 is right around here somewhere. Boom, 15, right? We're going X axis for the minutes, Y axis for the songs. And we got 63 and 20, boom. 70 all the way here and 13 like that. 59 down here and 12 on the songs. 61 and 15, let's say, is like this guy. 77 and 16, let's say like this. 75 and 17, something like up here. 71 and 18, which is maybe like this. 78 and 20 all the way over here all the way at the top like that 75 and 19 Right these are rough. I mean, I'm not doing it exactly in the right spot, but I'm being pretty close 63 and 11. Hopefully you'll be doing it a little bit more accurately 63 and 11 and 69 and 14 so this gives you an idea. That's it. That's how you make a scatter plot Okay, let's move on to number eight. Age of adults and number of pets currently owned. We're just trying to figure out is there a negative, positive, or correlation or no relationship. So we got age and we've got pets. Two things have a positive correlation when one goes up and the other goes up. It's negative when one goes up and the other goes down or vice versa with their flip-flopped. No correlation as we can't tell. Now, I'm gonna make an assumption here and I'm gonna assume that if we look at most pet owners, this is just, we're supposed to just kind of think about it. But as people get older, think about people who own lots of cats as they get on in years. Like it's a common thing. We hear it all the time. I'm gonna make an assumption that that's a true thing. That generally as people get older, they don't just own one pet, they own two, three, four, five, sometimes six, seven, who knows? So I'm gonna make an assumption that as age goes up, the number of pets actually goes up, which means that this is indeed a positive correlation. Okay, let's go to our final question here, number 12. So it gives us this information. A person breathes about 20 times, should be an S there, per minute. Let X represent minutes and Y represent the number of times a person breathes. Make a table using the X values of one, two, four, eight, and 10. All right, let's do that real quick. So we got it like this. We got X and we got Y. Remember X is minutes. So this is after one minute, two minutes, four minutes, and eight minutes, and 10 minutes. And then Y is number of times a person breathes. 
okay? Well, we already know at one minute, it tells us at the top, we're breathing 20 times. What about for two minutes? Well, it's gotta be double, right? So it should be 40 times. What about in four minutes? Well, that's probably double two. So in four minutes, if we're breathing 20 times in one minute, it should be 80 times in four minutes. What about eight? Well, again, one minute is 20, two is 40, three is 60, so on and so forth. So we just multiply eight times 20, which gives us 160. And finally, for 10 minutes, multiply that by 20, and it's simply 200 breaths in 10 minutes. Let's go on to the next part. It says make a scatter plot of the data. So again, we're gonna have time, the minutes, we're gonna have that on our x-axis. So we'll say minutes here, and we'll say breaths here. And it looks like the max we're going up to is 200. So I'm gonna do my best here to try and make this work. We got 100. We got 80, 60, 40, 20. It's not perfect, but it'll do. And then let's do the same thing up here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then we've got one minute, two minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not perfect, but it will do. Now let's make our scatter plot. I'm gonna do these nice points in green again. So one minute we got this right here. You know what? I should probably label this so it's not confusing. These are all increments of 20. 40, 60, so on and so forth. So at one minute, we're breathing 20 times. At two minutes, we are breathing 40 times, as we established in the last, the last question. At four minutes, we are breathing 80 times. At eight minutes, eight's over here, so let me just write it so it's not confusing. All right? these are all increments of one on the x-axis. At eight minutes, as we said before, we're breathing 160 times right here. Because this guy right here is 160, 180, so on and so forth. And then at 10 times, we're all the way at the top of this graph at 200. There's our scatter plot. It's five points, five coordinates. Now let's go on to C and D. Write an equation relating X and Y. Well, again, Y is the number of times we're breathing. X is the minutes. Well, what have we been doing? We've been taking X, one minute is 20 times, two minutes, 40 times, and we're multiplying it by 20. That's the relationship, a function, an equation, just a relationship between two values. Y equals 20 times X. Now let's end with predict how many times a person would breathe in 25 minutes. Simple, we take our equation and 25 minutes, X is time, X is minutes. We plug that 25 in for the X, and then we evaluate. What is 20 times 25? That is simply 500. So a person breathes 500 times in 25 minutes, and done.